What up dudes, Farmer Joe Parker here. Don't know what you'd expect, right? It's my channel. So I'm pretty blazed up right now. It's because I got the fresh press rosin and it's got me on another level. But uh, let me show you how I make this. I'm uh, So first, you know, there's a lot of ways you can make this rosin, make rosin with a hair straightener. But really it boils down to material. So you're going to need to get yourself some like fire, fire bubble hash, like five or six star. None of the full... None of the full spectrum mix bullshit. None of the fucking four star. It needs to be like five or six star. That could actually be one of the hardest parts <laughs> in this whole process is getting that quality of hash. If it's been stored proper, it should be like in a beach sand texture. And in order to store proper, it has to stay frozen. As soon as it comes up to room temperature, it really greases up fast. But yeah, scoop out a couple grams onto a piece of parchment paper just like this. And once you get that all scooped out, you're going to want to kind of just grease it up with your hands. Fold it up, you know what I'm saying? And uh, hold your hand over it for a few seconds and it should turn into a solid puck. And you can kind of fold it into a little square. Okay, and now you're going to need a coffee filter. And the best ones I use aren't the round ones. They're the ones, uh, I think it's like Merlita brand or something. They're brown coffee filters, and they're thicker than the normal just thin white papers or brown paper ones that you can get. So uh, these, these are the ones that I like to use. And you got to cut yourself out a little filter and fold the edges around your hash puck. And you want to try to leave just a little bit of room around the edge of your hash puck there to allow for uh, squishing of the hash, you know, movement of the hash once you start pressing in on it. Next, you want to plug in your hair straightener. I like to use a Remington with a two-inch wide uh, plate, and you turn on the lowest setting. Mine only goes to down to 300, so I'll let it come up to temperature. Then, after it comes down to temperature, I'll get my hash puck ready, and by putting the hash puck filter that I made in between a parchment sandwich, so it's ready for squishing. Then I'll unplug my hair straightener and I'll wait about 10 seconds to kind of cool it down. And when I do go into pressure, I'll just barely touch the pressure onto the thing and let it heat up. You know, I'll, I'll listen to it. As soon as I hear it start sizzling, then I kind of go a little more pressure. And a little more pressure. Because you don't want that paper bag to burst. That'd be bad. So you just go a little more pressure and a little more pressure. And then until finally you're... Like, got that thing on full torque, full pressure, and it takes about 15 seconds to get there, to get to full pressure, and you're really squishing out all the hash from that puck. And finally, you get to open it up, and you get your reward. It's such an amazing smell when you first open that up, and it's all juicy and creamy and just clear goodness of... <laughs> so good. But before you smoke it, you got to make sure and get it into your puck. <laughs> so you usually your hair straightener is still a little bit warm at this point. So you just kind of fold up and collect all your hash on the parchment into a little ball. And you can press your hair straightener against it just a couple times. And that'll flatten it out. Then you kind of cool it off by just kind of pressing it against the counter. And then you get to slice it up into some just monster ass dabs. Because why are you going to make good ass rosin if you're not going to melt your face off, right? So... Yeah, get to slicing. And you gotta, like, definitely do a photo shoot, man. You gotta get some good video while you are uh, got that slab before you slice it up. Because this is amazing. Oh, and once you get it sliced up, you gotta get some good video, too. Because, damn! <laughs> Thank you.
So thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned some tech from this. In case you guys didn't know, I created this motherfucking tech back in 2013. So give it a thumbs up, like this video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And go smoke yourself some fine, fine hash, my friends. Peace.